Way down in a patch junction, this building went through reconstruction. Tanks and creatures of all sizes, bringing you some great prices. Reptile Junction is the place to be. Join us for a creature discovery. Welcome back, and today we're going to be looking at a rather unusual species of snake. This is a diamondback water snake, a member of the Nerodia genus. If you like the idea of a pet snake but can't stand rodents, this would actually be a really good alternative. The Nerodia are specialist fish eaters, and when they're raised right in captivity, that doesn't mean they have to eat live fish. In fact, this guy really likes tilapia fillet, cut up salmon, he goes nuts for the um, uh, frozen silver side. Uh, minnows. So these guys, they'll eat uh, just about anything that you would find in the freshwater systems of Central North America and Northern Mexico. Everything from frogs, fish, um, in some cases crustaceans. But the one thing that he really doesn't want is rodents, so you never have to deal with that. Now when it comes to feeding this species, you do want to be careful to avoid fish that are high in thylamase. I personally will not feed goldfish to my animals. I prefer to do live bearing fish, such as um, sword tails, mollies. However, because of the size that these guys can get, averaging between three and four feet with some of the larger specimens hitting close to six, they do need larger prey items. So we would do a lot of, uh, like I mentioned earlier, tilapia filet or whole fish that I buy from Lili's or the other Asian markets around here. Uh, whole fish is important for them as they need the, everything from the bones, the muscle, the guts. But I prefer to do frozen, it keeps down on parasite loads. But this is a really unique and interesting species for someone who likes the idea of a snake but doesn't want to care for, you know, what we think of as your typical pet snake. 